everybody. My name is Mike Lander, and this is our website, dispatchpressimages.com. We are a press photo agency dedicated to excellence in photojournalism and documentary photography. The images that you see on, this, on our website uh, are all rights managed, which means they are available for licensing. So if you are intending to use one of our images for publication purposes, whether in print or on the web or however, you need to buy a license. Uh, that process will be explained to you in a follow-up video. But for today, I think the most important thing is to show you how to navigate on that website to easily find the image that you're looking for and to provide you some shortcuts to make your selection even easier. Uh, what you see now is the home page, of course. Before rotating or for large photos that you see in front of you have more to do with the look and feel of our website. It kind of shows you what we're all about. Uh, clearly, this is photojournalism, what you're looking at now, suicide bombings, uh, but there's a lot of documentary photo photography as well. Uh, on the right side, you see reportage, which we have selected certain photo essays because we feel they are critical and worthy of being placed on, the, on our homepage. Revolution in Yemen, suicide bombings, things like that. Not your everyday events, at least not in the United States. Uh, below that you see the uh, collection of uh, uh, our uh, categories for our different collections. Archives, creative collection, dispatch on assignment collection, documentary, and editorial. I would use these as shortcuts. Uh, once you know where your image is located, uh, to go back to it might be easier to do it that way, perhaps. Uh, let me skip feature photographer for a moment. If you go up to the left side of the page, you see collections. And if you roll over that, here we go, uh, you'll see the same collections that come up below you. Uh, so that if you knew that an image that you're seeing right now would be in the editorial collection, uh, you would simply roll over editorial and click on editorial. Uh, this brings you to the first of nine pages in the editorial collection. What you're looking at now are galleries. Uh, each of these photos and the uh, represent a particular gallery. So for example, if we go to page two, demonstrations. You're now in the editorial collection demonstrations gallery. You click on that. Okay. Now what you see is three more pages of events. So the website is organized first by collection, second by gallery, and thirdly by event. Now in the news today, obviously, are, and today is uh, April 30th, 2015, uh, police brutality would be something that you might want to look at today, uh, considering what is going on in Baltimore and other cities in the United States. So if we click on police brutality, we have two images here. Let's take this one here. This deals with the Amadou Diallo protest march uh, back in 2000. This was a march of high school and college students down Broadway in Manhattan. And on the right side, you have what's called all the EXIF information, all the pertinent information about this photo. So if you were to buy this photo, you would know exactly what's going on. Uh, it has a reference number, first of all. Every photo on the website has a reference number. They're all rights-managed photos. This is a stock photo. We don't know who the photographer was. So if we don't know, it, it, it's therefore a stock photo. Data was taken. Date data to our collection, 2013. The editorial collection. Copyright. No release for this image. Uh, I don't believe we have any images that have releases, so uh, keep that in mind. File size, 300 dpi, which is important for print publication. We don't know the camera or the focal length, and we do have keywords. Okay, this is fairly typical of the type of photos uh, that we have, and that's why I selected it. Uh, keywords, police brutality, NYPD, protest march, demonstrations, so forth. This gives you the all the EXIF information that we have available. 
should you choose to buy the photo, you would then add it to your shopping cart. Uh, you can download a preview or a comp for those purposes. And uh, uh, you can even price it without uh, registering on our site. I don't want to get into registering now because it would take too long. So let's look at some other collections. We'll skip over archives for a moment. Go for today. Let's go to documentary, see what's over there. It's a documentary collection. I would suggest you might find something very interesting in the Americana uh, Gallery. We'll go there because after all, we're all about documentary photography. 1930s, 193 images in the 1930s. Why is that important? It's important because it deals with the Great Depression, a critical watershed time in our country's history. Many, many images there, 59 images in the American Dream Collection, what we call the American Dream Collection. But going to 1930s, okay. Let's take this one, Missouri Picnic. So you can find here. You notice a lot of these are black and whites because in the 1930s, you really didn't have too much in the way of color at that point. So a lot of the older documentary photos are in black and white. Again, reference number, rights managed, so on and so forth. Date taken, 1933. Add to the collection, last month. No release, file size, and keywords. Pretty straightforward, okay? So we've now looked at two of the uh, collections. By the way, uh, let's look at this one for a minute. Dispatch on assignment, because these are the larger collections that we have. We have 17 pages of collections here. Whether you're in the editorial gallery uh, collection, excuse me, or dispatch on assignment, or any of the collections, you'll notice that the galleries are arranged alphabetically. So if we want to go to China, it's under C, China. Okay. Let's let this populate. Hong Kong, 1998. Same procedure, collection, gallery, event, then the actual picture. Here's a picture of a water taxi in Hong Kong. 1998, stock photo, reference number, all right? Doesn't matter whether you're in editorial, archives, any of these collections, the process is the same. You go to the collection. Now, you may not find it in that collection. You may think it's editorial, and we have it located as documentary. I'll show you how to work around that a little bit, too. But if you're in the right collection, you then click on the appropriate gallery to see if we have the image. And once you're in that gallery, like China in this case, in Dispatch on Assignment, uh, you'll find the photo that you're looking for. Okay, let's get back to the homepage for a moment. So we looked at all these collections. Right? What is this? Dispatch on the Fire. That looks interesting. slideshow presentation. This is a nice short cut to finding uh, to find an image that you might be looking for. Uh, because, for example, suicide bombing. Click on that. What is that? Look at this. If you look in the lower right hand corner, you'll see the little circle trying to complete. Here we go. It takes about seven seconds. And uh, this will show you a nice collection of images that we have on this particular event, the suicide bombing in Lahore, Pakistan in 2010. Uh, we call it Dispatch Under Fire for what I think are obvious reasons. These are not your normal photo essays. This is a situation where the safety of the photojournalist is, is at stake. This is what we're talking about. So situations such as this war, terrorism, Earthquakes, natural disasters, uh, that sort of thing. If we can get back to it for a minute, let's see. We have to go back in again. Pakistan floods, riots in Detroit. Now, Baltimore doesn't have the only uh, 
monopoly on riots. Of course, back in the civil rights era, there were riots in major cities like Detroit, like Newark, New Jersey, and other places. Korean War, Wilma Prieta earthquake. This is the uh, World Series earthquake back in 1989, San Francisco. Vietnam veterans, Vietnam War. Next screen. Egyptian Revolution. Remember what went on in Tahrir Square a couple of years ago? Revolution in Yemen. This is the first phase. Now we're in quite a different phase. Right? Pakistani Nightmare. These are the floods in Pakistan. Uh, firefight. This is Operation Atlas Wedge. Uh, Joel Shanus contributed these photos. He was a combat photographer in South Vietnam. And that's his collection of this firefight. Uh, and so forth. So, if you, so that is the purpose of Dispatch Under Fire to uh, show these uh, slideshow presentations in dangerous situations. Uh, it, it, if you know that you're looking for something on Tahrir Square, this is a good place to look because you'll, rather than search uh, all through the galleries and events, because uh, it, it shows at a glance uh, what photos we have. Come back to our home page. Photographers. All of our contributing photojournalists are not listed here for various reasons, particularly because they choose not to be listed. They have their own reasons why they choose not to, but many of them have. This is me. You want to know what I look like? That's me. Uh, the uh, point is that if they are listed on the page, you have a short biography of who they are, what they're all about, and you can get a link to their photos, uh, all their photos on the website, all their events on the website. Uh, in case of other photographers where they have their own uh, websites, they, we provide links for them so you can get uh, from our page the link right to their page. Okay, go back to the home page. Contact is pretty obvious blog page. We're going to save that for another video because that will take a little bit too long uh, to show you today. Uh, going back here for a second, if you click on archives, which seems to be up at the moment, you're back in archives. Again, alphabetically. Numbers come first, A through Z. Okay. And creative and all the other uh, collections. So remember, you're going from collection to uh, to gallery, to uh, event, and eventually to photo. Feature photograph is Ian Forsythe uh, because we felt he made a, a great contribution to our website, and uh, he did a, an essay on homeless on, in Great Britain, and uh, he's up on our homepage. Links to Facebook and Twitter. Now. Uh, the search bar. Very interesting. You have, like any other search bar, search tool, you have to know what you're looking for. Uh, for example, if I was doing a, uh, a piece, uh, uh, writing an essay on Prohibition, 1930s, 1920s, <clears throat> maybe I want to find a picture on moonshine. Moonshine. And I'll search for it, and I'll find it. And But you see there are other choices here. If you don't find under Moonshine, uh, which is the, the liquor itself, try Moonshiner. Try Moonshiners. Okay, moonshine Wars. Let's try Moonshine and see what happens here. Okay. Two pictures on Moonshine. This particular one, on the right, the Moonshine War. This is, if you've, saw, if you've seen the movie, Lawless, with Tom Hardy took place in Franklin County, Virginia. Here's a picture from Franklin County, Virginia. Looks like it could have been taken right out of the movie. But it's not. It's real. 1934. That's all the extra information. Okay. So we had two uh, pictures that we find under Moonshine. However, if we go to Moonshiner. Oh, we got another one now. Now here's a Moonshiner. Here's a fellow, Pennsylvania, 1931, pulling part of his still, which is not created, not complete yet, up a hill. 
to a uh, more secure location so it shouldn't be found. So Moonshiner pulls up this one. Moon Shiners takes you something else. Three other totally different pictures. Kansas City, 1910, way back, okay, from potatoes and making moonshine from potatoes. So the point is, it's, it's critical what you ask for. You have to ask the right questions. Don't give up if you don't find something right away or you don't see it in a, in a gallery. Uh, if you just do a regular search, you have to go around a little bit uh, to find what you're looking for. You might also search uh, for a white lightning, for example, and find it that way. Uh, I think that's pretty much it today. The sign in and register, it has to do with uh, other, another area uh, to buy a photo, uh, which we'll have to treat in a separate uh, video. There isn't time for that today. Uh, any questions, of course, you can uh, contact us at info uh, at dispatchpressimages.com. And I think that pretty much uh, handles it for today. So just uh, just to remember your shortcuts. The shortcuts are over here on the side, uh, or you can uh, use the photographers. If you know who the photographer is, by clicking on his uh, photos, you can find uh, his uh, whole collection of photos on our website. Uh, until next time, this is Mike Lander. Have a great day. Bye-bye.